His name was Harold Murray, Harry Murray Hucker Howe. It's a wonder that I even knew his name. Cause he would work ten hours a day and go home and lock himself away from our world that caused so much of his disdain. He was a healthy man, but he was in a lot of pain. He had a lot to say about the way it could be done. As if he was the only one who knew But with every syllable It seemed apparent more and more That he felt that there was nothing he could do Just as much as he believed that that was true Harold Murray was a good man Just a little bit demented From too much of the real thing He loved to play but he would never dance and sing Played the violin that they had built it just for him For when the music ended he remained chagrined He never knew what trouble he was in He wanted nothing more than to escape his little world But he was far too bright for suicide A man of equal build may just have to be killed that was something he had never tried But the urge awakened something dark inside A man of equal build showed up one night along the road And Harry stopped and offered him a ride I'll take you where you want Just hop into the trunk But that of course was not the line he chose but you know how the rest of the story goes Harold Murray was a smart man Was never given credit for the feats he had achieved Now all he really wanted was to leave It wasn't violent, he called it sheer necessity Though the man of equal build was innocent He justified it somehow in the end After killing him in an unmentionable way Finally coerced him to the trunk Then fleeing from the scene He stopped and bought some gasoline And set it in the trunk beside the man Of equal build but slower of the hand He drove up to his house Backed right into his garage Average afternoon for a silent howl while talking to his ghost, how Murray had dressed him in his clothes Then dragged the man upstairs into his room And doused the place in gasoline perfume Harold Murray, in a dead man's clothes Walked into the forest from a fiery glow With nothing more but a thousand dollar notes Freed from his burdens, all but one that haunts him still A memory of when he was a kid And his friendship with a man of equal build